Right now, it's Britain's export market that's creating jobs and building business. The key is getting a slice of emerging overseas markets. And in Hull, that's what Jackson's Bakery is aiming for, a doubling of its exports. We are looking constantly around the world at when areas that we can uh, focus on and, and go into next. As international travel becomes more and more prevalent, then the growth of British sandwiches around the world is growing with it. Financially, Britain might be on the breadline, but exports are up. In Yorkshire and the Humber, by as much as 20%, better than average, but still with room for improvement. First of all, we'd like to become active within the export market, and we chose Brazil for several reasons. Talking across time zones could help. This conference call is with Brazil, using a service that Hull's not-for-profit World Trade Center is now offering 24-7. And here's why. 5 p.m. is the end of the working day in Hull, but at that time, though it's only one o'clock in Brazil, it's half past nine in the evening in Delhi, and even worse, midnight in Beijing. So doing business with these emerging global giants is out unless you get up at 2 a.m. Certainly it puts a lot of companies off trading with other parts of the world if, if it's more difficult. And I think what we're trying to do is make it as easy as possible for people to export and import and, and make relationships with, with businesses all around the world. The Hessel-based logistics firm Neil and Brown are backing the idea and say they simply wouldn't be here without hunting for overseas work. We've got our own office in Hong Kong, got agents in India um, and we've just continued to develop. With the World Trade Centre, we feel it's the next stage in order for us to develop even further. And that could be the key. Central government is backing the private sector to pick up Britain's load. And if that is the case, right now the Humber needs to show that it's open for business. Crispin Rolfe, BBC Look North.